Hello friends, you're with a lonesome gamer. And believe it or not, I'm still playing Mage Knight. And uh, well, after sleeping one night, I got over this shock of uh, yesterday evening a little bit. I had a terrible turn, especially because this lovely guy here, Volcare, he attacked me because he drew this red spell, which allows him to attack me even if I'm two spaces away. And, well, yeah, he, he really, really, uh, had some bad effects to me. Let, let's let's say it that way. I was completely uh, destroyed. Basically, I took so many wounds. I think I took um, about ten wounds or something like that. Uh, in the last video, I forgot to take the wounds from the drake or the dragon, the the poisonous wounds. So I had to take two more wounds, and I did this now. I corrected this mistake. Um, furthermore, I was allowed to use this um, this healing skill. I didn't do that at the end of the last turn, and I did this now, so I was able to throw away one wound card, and I gained a blue crystal. Um, yeah, I think these were the the mistakes uh, I did in the last turn that I was able to correct without uh, too many efforts. Another thing was uh, I used the black crystal. Uh, I took it uh, because a card allowed me to take a crystal of any color, but I was not allowed to take a black crystal. I didn't know that. So um, anyway, I will not. Uh, I will not play this whole thing again. It's it's not possible. It's done now, and I have to live with it. Okay. So um, I will um, restore the offers here. So now we have here diplomacy. Good for influencing people. And here. The spell goes away and we have charm, the same good for influencing people. Okay. And a strong effect is possess. One enemy does not attack and so on. So that's pretty good. And then we have to do a new unit offer. So, four new cards. Here we go. And these are the scouts. These are the... the unit that might join Valkor, or Volker is his name. And we have the Northern Monks. The Utem Swordsmen. And the Utem Guardsmen. And I will draw a new advanced action card. The pure magic for the monastery. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I won't hire anybody during this turn simply because I have to... I have to heal. I need all my points to to get rid of at least some of these uh, of these wound cards. It makes no sense to play with, I don't know, 12 wound cards or something like that. <clears throat> so let's see what our starting hand is. Well, it's not that bad after all. That's, that's okay. Not too many wounds. Okay. That's, that's great. And I got this healing card here. 
Cool. Okay. And uh, then we have to roll. And we have three green dice, which can be also helpful for healing, and a red one. Okay, and then let's see what the turn order is. Okay, I think I was actually lucky. Uh, I chose planning. At the end of each turn, if you have at least two cards in your hand before you draw, draw as if your hand limit is one higher. I think this is pretty important because if I have all these wounds in my hand, it can be a good idea to have a higher hand limit to to have at least some options and uh, I was lucky because he um, randomly had this five so I can start this turn um, I think what I'm gonna do is I simply try to heal as much as possible so first I might go here to this magical glade which allows me to heal and then I probably will go to the monastery where I can also heal. Okay, so I'm not sure what what kind of what kind of terrain this is. To be honest, let's see. Great, is it more the this this one on the left or the one on the right? The four or the five? It looks like it is the five, yeah. The background looks a bit like it is the five. The color is not exactly the same. Anyway, I think it's the number five. So, um, okay, we need five movement points. What I do is I play this movement two. And then I play... one card sideways this gives me one extra movement because the next card providing move gives one extra move this turn so this gives me now two so I've got a movement of four and then I play this card sideways too so I've got now a movement of um, of five and that's exactly enough to enter the magical glade And, as we can see here, the Magical Glade, Healing Essence. If you end your turn on a Magical Glade, you can throw away one wound card from your hand or discard pile. This is not the same as healing and the effect cannot be combined with other healing effects. Imbued with magic. If you start your turn on a Magical Glade during the day, you gain a gold mana token. If you start your turn on a magical glade during the night, you gain a black mana token. So, <coughs> that's definitely the place to be right now. That allows me to heal. So I can throw this card away. And then at the beginning of the next turn I can draw a golden mana token oh man it's always the same with these tiles you try to improve this a little bit want to make it look better and you make it all worse okay so now I'm allowed well the, I announce the end of the turn and I will draw four more cards so well, that is awesome. I'm quite lucky. I have all these great healing cards now at the beginning that can be very powerful. But I need some wounds. Otherwise, it's not, it's not such a great thing. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's pretty good, actually. Maybe I'll be lucky in the end. We will see about that. It looks not too bad. So, now it's Valkyrs or Volker. What's his name? Yeah, it's Volker. It's Volker's turn. And it's Mind Read. So that's a white spell. 
That's good. That's really good because he leaves this area. Uh, I think that's pretty good. So he moves now twice in this direction. So he's here and there. And right now he poses no further threat to me. Uh, I was afraid that he will just stay there or so. And I had to go to the monastery. I had to take this risk then. And uh, if he would then at have attacked me a second time, uh, this would be completely uh, ridiculous. But in this way I was lucky this guy went away and I'm safe here. And there is no mana die to roll because there is no white mana die in the source anymore. Okay. So... And now I will not forget this. I'm at a magical glade so I can take one of these... I can take one of these... Um, ah, crystals. Okay, so now I will I will play this card here, Refreshing Walk, and that allows me now to move into the monastery and also to heal. I can use this strong effect, move four and heal two. Uh, I'm not absolutely sure if I should use a die from the source or my golden mana token. Sadly, I will lose this mana token and I have no further use for that um, during the next turn, uh, during this turn. So, um, but I don't know, it might be a good idea to have some other color, not only green and red in the source. So maybe I'll take a green die, I think that's better. Could be wrong, I don't know that. I take a green die and... Uh, and activate this strong effect here. So now I'm allowed to move here. Cost me two to move um, there and I can heal two wounds. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm doing fine until now. And now I got lots of influence here. So Uh, maybe it's a better idea to use the gold and yeah I think I use the I think I use the mana token I need a, a green one here and who knows what happens so I use the mana token here okay and then again it's the end of the turn and uh, actually I have now I forgot that earlier on I have now two cards in my hand, so I now have a hand limit of six. One, two, ah, oh, we need some wounds here. Yeah, three, ah, that's not exactly what I wanted. Okay, and then it's Volker. Let's see what he has. A wound. Okay, so we roll the die. If he rolls red, the scouts will join him. Ah, it's black, so they don't. So nothing happens here. And, well, then it's me again. Uh, I'm not absolutely sure, actually. Oops. I've got a problem now. Basically, of course, it's good to heal. And, well, I could simply pay, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should simply pay two cards to heal that and then hope that I get some more wounds in my hand. Okay, I don't know. I think I haven't shown you what you can do in a monastery, so I'll do this now. 
Well, first you can recruit this. Units with the monastery icon can be recruited here. So it's this icon here. I could, for example, recruit the northern monks, which would be good, but uh, yeah. I need my influence for something else. Healing. You can buy one point of healing for two influence here. Training. When a monastery is revealed, put the top card of the advanced action stack face up in the units offer. Advanced actions in the units offer can be bought at any monastery for six influence. Burning a monastery. You can try to burn a monastery as your action for the turn. If you do, you get reputation minus three. Draw a random violet enemy token to fight. Your units cannot be used in this combat. If you defeat the enemy, mark the space with a shield token and get an artifact as your reward. The monastery is now destroyed. Okay, so that's also a possibility, but I think for now I'm going to heal there. And um, I think what I am going to do right now is I'm going to simply play these two cards sideways, generate two influence, and get rid of this wound card. Okay, and that was that was basically my turn. It might be completely wrong what I'm doing here, but I think it's a good idea to heal as many wounds as possible. And if I have to stay for the monastery for that, uh, well, I, I, I'm afraid I have to do it then. There is nothing else I can do right now, I think. Okay, so now I will draw three new cards. Because I got three cards left, I got this planning option here so I can now draw three cards and that is really bad. I want these wounds. Oh man, this is so bad. Ah, okay, we will see about that later. So, now it's again Volker and he's got another wound. So we roll the die to see if there's anything. Nope, it's again a black one. So at least he doesn't do any it doesn't make any progress too. Um, yeah, that is now a little I don't know. I could I could heal these guys. Maybe that's an idea. I think I will do that. I will I will play these two in these two cards sideways as influence cards and I use that to heal my peasants. Oh by the way, at the beginning of a new round these guys uh, become active again so I, I can activate them the next turn again. That's possible now. And they give me new influence. So I'm I'm now I actually can now generate a lot of influence. And it might be a good idea to yeah, maybe I can heal most of my wounds. That would be great. Fine, okay, I think that's it. So again I've got a hand limit of six, a wound, and another wound. Very good. And here we got this guy, and he also has a wound. So, until now, it's looking not too bad. And that's a gold, golden, uh, golden mana token, so the scouts will not join him. Okay, I got now two wounds. So, let me see what I can do. It would be perfect to use... Oh man, I need... I'd love to use this white influence here, but I know what I can do. 
Yeah, that's possible. That is not bad. I can use this um, this skill here. That's a healing skill. So I flip this. I can heal one wound. Oh, not not on Volker, but on on the wound deck. And I gain a white crystal. And then I will simply use threaten. And I play these two influence to get rid of this wound. And I don't want to play this strong ability because I don't want to lose more reputation. That would mean I've got a reputation of minus one, so I'd be forced to pay three influence for healing. And uh, that adds up to a lot of influence that I had to pay. I thought about I thought about um, I thought about hiring the northern monks, but I think I think I don't want to push my luck too far. Okay, just keep it simple. Okay, um, then I draw another three cards. One, two, three. Okay. Well, actually, I come now to the point where I really think about doing this. Maybe I will hire these monks. Okay. Um, let's see what Walker does. Well, he's got his last... He's got his last spell. That's the fourth one. And that will bring him down here. So he moves now two spaces in this direction. And that allows him to reveal another tile. Okay, and this is actually this one here. So now he moves down there. And there is another mage tower over there. And here we have now a keep. I can show you that from the other side. And until now we didn't have that. Um, this is similar to a mage tower, except that you take these units here And you can also go there and uh, if you are adjacent to a keep during day you can reveal this unit during night it's not possible. You can assault a keep the same way as a mage tower. It's also fortified and uh, you lose one reputation. Um, if you manage to, uh, to conquer it you don't get a spell as you do in the mage tower but you are allowed to hire units and uh, if you are in one of your keeps or adjacent to one of your keeps your hand limit increases by the number of keeps you control okay and there is a dungeon or oh, is it i think it's a I think it's a dungeon. Exactly, that's a dungeon. So uh, basically, yeah, you can enter this dungeon, fight some a a enemy of these, of this kind here, and as a reward, it says uh, you can roll a mana die to determine your reward for gold or black. Gain a spell, otherwise gain an artifact. So this is really pretty cool. While conquered, you can enter a conquered dungeon to fight a random brown enemy token with the same limitations. Knight and no units. If you defeat it, you get no reward other than the fame that you do not mark the space with a shield token. Okay. So. Fine. I still stay here in the monastery 
recovering from my wounds and I'm doing pretty well I think and uh, well actually I'm, I really think about about uh, hiring the northern monks I think that could be a good idea now I'll do this so Um, let me see how I can do that. I will use my crystallized card. And you play this on, ah, uh, I know. Okay, I will, I will pay this white mana crystal, and that gives me now an influence of four. And then I activate the peasants, and they give me now an influence. I got an influence of six now, and as you can see here, I need an influence of seven. So I think. Uh, it's a little painful, but I think I will I will throw away one of these two cards. They're both good, but Okay, I guess it will be this one. I think it will be crystallize. So now I have all together seven influence. I know that's a little that's a little risky. I don't know if I can really afford to do this. But on the other hand, I need to think about the future a little bit. And uh, if I want to go on here, I need to improve a little bit. So now I got the northern monks. They have attack or block 3. They got an ice attack or ice block of 4. They have four armor. So I guess they could be helpful. And then what I do is I'm gonna play this this skill. I'll heal and I'll gain a blue crystal. So now I can simply draw three new cards. I hope I draw three wounds. One. Very good. Yeah, that's perfect. That is great. That is awesome. Okay, cool. And now that's Volker and he has a wound. And that's a white A white mana, so nothing special happens here. Okay, of course I stay in the monastery and I will heal once more. And um. I'm thinking about using the tranquility. Ah, uh, yeah. On the other hand, it might be also a good idea to use in need. I got three cards now, three wound cards in my hand. Ah, uh, it would be really interesting how much I had all together, but it shouldn't be so many after all. I think I healed at least five cards or so. And I took about ten. So there will be probably only two cards or so left in the deck. So maybe it's a good idea now to 
to use in need because it gives me if I trigger the trance the strong effect it gives me an influence of five get an additional influence two for each wound card in your hand and or on a unit you control so that is pretty strong actually so I'm not even sure if I need to to do this strong effect influence three get an additional influence one for each wound card in your hand so that's three plus three is six that would be good enough for that uh, man if I had maybe if I had played this in a more clever way it would have been possible to hire the northern monks with that card but now it's too late anyway I, I will simply play this card in need it's really strong I could try to to heal and train that could be an interesting idea so wait a minute if I use this card influence 5 and then I gain actually 6 additional influence so that would give me then 11 influence that's a lot yeah that should do it Okay, so I think what I do is I will now activate the strong effect of this card. So now I have 11 influence. And I will heal for 6 influence these 3 wounds. And then I will train. Let me see. Yeah, training. And I can I can buy now this card for six influence, the pure magic. So I place this card here on top of my deed deck and I need one additional influence and I will discard that card. And I keep the tranquility to heal more wounds. So yeah, I think I think that's it then. Okay, so the turn is over. I roll, and that's again a green one. And I draw one, two, three, four. Now my hand limit is four because I don't have at least two cards in my hand. Okay. Mm, not so sure if this is what I want. Okay. And then it's this guy. And he's got another wound. So, basically that is okay. Nothing happens here. And, well, let me see. Okay, I think after all it's time to move on now. I think I'm quite refreshed. I can heal two, so I can heal that one. And if there comes one more wound, which will probably happen, I can also heal this one. But it's okay, I think. And But I can't wait here forever. So um, I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play this one and uh, generate a blue mana token yeah yeah I think that's what I wanna yeah that's what I wanna do so a blue mana token and that allows me to trigger the strong effect here and then I'll take a green mana dice so now that says when you play this pay a mana if you paid green move seven so that allows me now to move and I can actually move here so this is three and now this altar gets revealed let's see what that is ah uh, uh, it's tough okay so that means, uh, means now I can fight a brown creature and a violet creature and as a reward 
I would get a spell and a crystal of each color. But I'm afraid I'm not, I'm not strong enough for that. And then I can reveal a tile here. So let's do that. Okay, so this is this tile here. And that costs two movement points to reveal a tile. So now I'm at five movement points and I have seven. So there are two left. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got. We have here marauding orcs. So these guys here. I think this is called a digger or so. Pretty weak. And here we have a crystal mine. And then we have, what is that? So this is a monster den. You may enter a monster den as your action for the turn. If you do, draw a brown enemy token to fight. If you fail to defeat it, leave the enemy token face up on the space. Next time a player chooses to enter the den, he fights this token. If you defeat the enemy, mark the space as conquered with your shield token and get two random mana crystals as your reward. Roll a mana die two times to determine their color. If gold is rolled, you choose the color you gain. If black is rolled, you get fame plus one instead of a crystal. Okay. So, now I have... I have two points left. I'm thinking about entering this this space but to do that I had to pay I could also move here yeah I think I will do this I'm not sure I can move here on the altar I don't have to to do this attack the good thing if I do this is I would see what's uh, what's inside this um, this mage tower I could also go here and try to enter this monster den in the next turn. Well, I'm really thinking about doing that. The problem is if I want to do that I have to throw away my rage card and that is a good combat card so if I want to fight then it's maybe not that clever to throw away a combat card. Okay, I simply move here. I guess that's the best I can do. I move here and then I can take a look what's here. Okay. Well, these are some of the new units of the expansion. They have two attacks. You have to block them both. And they have a pretty high uh, pretty high armor. Let's see what that is. So these are magic familiars. Okay. So I guess I'm done for this turn and uh, yeah. That's a red one, and I can draw three more cards. Another wound. Okay. Yeah, why not? Okay, I guess one thing is certain. Wait a minute. I forgot this guy. Ah, that's another wound. Very good. So let's roll the die. Ah, that's not good. That was bad luck. So this time it's a red mana token and that says he can now take the scouts. They join him. And that means now it's not exactly the scouts that join him. But to keep things simple, we simply discard the scouts and he gains one of these 
grey keep tokens. So we simply place them here. So his army is getting bigger, but to be honest, that's not so much my concern right now. Okay, and then we have the next turn, and of course what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play this heal card. I'm going to activate it with a green mana die, and I simply heal these two wounds. Okay. And yeah, I'm not sure. Thinking about I think I'm I'm done in this turn. If I draw now two interesting um fight cards, I will go here and attack the monster den. If I don't Maybe I simply move here and I can attack, I can challenge this guy. He's pretty weak, I can do that I guess without any problems. Gives me at least two more fame. Maybe I can explore another one. But I'm not even sure if I want to do that because the more I explore, the the higher the risk that uh, this game comes to an end because um, the moment I, I find the, the, the last... I explore the last tile and there are only three left. Um, I find that city and then this guy straightly moves toward the city. So maybe it's not such a great idea to 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 explore too fast here. I think um, I think I'm fine for now. I think I will simply discard that card and then. Um, Reroll the die. That's a gold mana, that's always fine. And draw my next two cards. And this is good actually. These are two fight cards. Awesome. So that means there's no more wound in my deck. Well, I didn't think so. I, I, I never expected that to happen, to be honest. So after all, I think that might be a nice turn. And, okay, what I do now is, um, first I will draw another card for him, that's green. So that means this guy moves simply here. And we take this guy and roll and it's again a green one. Okay. So and now I can actually enter this monster den. I think I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will do this. Okay, so I move here now, and that costs me three. So I play these two movement cards to do that. And then I enter this. And let's see what monster comes up. Well, this is not too bad, I think. That's a gargoyle. Okay, so actually that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, so during the ranged attack, nothing happens. We don't have any ranged attack. And now we have to block. And he does. He has an attack of five. And I will use. I will use the improvisation. And I will use the strong effect here. So I use the red mana die. And I simply discard this card here, and then 
I have, uh, yeah, I got five block and that's enough to block him. And now I have to attack him and it's interesting because this guy actually has a physical immunity. So um, with a standard attack I have to do eight damage and that would be a problem but because now I have these northern monks Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's okay, it's okay. I was a, I thought I was too optimistic here, but it works. I have these northern monks, and I can activate them. And if I pay now a blue mana token... I wonder why, why are there two symbols? I think it just says that this is an ice symbol or whatever. Okay, I got to pay a blue mana token. And then they have an ice attack or ice block 4. So that's some kind of a magical attack. So I take one of my blue crystals. And because this guy has only a physical resistance, but no ice resistance, an ice attack of 4 is exactly what I need to kill him. So, yeah, I think I did it. I killed him, that gives me four fame. One, two, three, four. And in addition, I gain now the reward of the monster den. And these are two random... Um, two random crystals. So, let's roll the die. That's a white one and a green one. Okay. Fine. And that's the end of the turn then. And let's see what this guy does. Well, that is white. So, yeah, he moves up. So he simply moves here. And that's it. Okay, and now it's the end of the round, and it is hard to believe, <laughs> but I got really rid of all wounds. Um, so I'm feeling much better now. I thought this game is completely ruined, but it probably is. I mean, I don't really think to believe this, but... Uh, Actually, I still have some options uh, to do some actions, and after all, it wasn't all too bad. This round was pretty successful. I, I could hire these monks, which is good. Um, I could do some, some training, and I killed this, this monster there. And I think I could not have expected much more after the turn before. So, got a lot of crystals here. So I think it's it's better now. It, it's much better. Um, the only problem is there are not many tiles left here, just three. But I have to live with that. I think, after all, I can be really happy with the last turn. It was, was okay and uh, it might have been a little boring to watch how I, was, how I was just sitting there in the monastery healing one wound after another. I'm sorry for that, but uh, well, that's part of the game. In this case, I think it was my only option. I had to, to recover here. It would not have been very, a very good idea to, to press on because after a short time my hand would have been full of wounds and uh, I had no more options for any actions. Okay, so now I'm a little more optimistic. To be honest, I don't think I will win this game, but at least I can show you some more action in the next videos. Hope to see you then. Bye.